So last time um, I was building things out of pallets, we were down in Sussex. Now we're in the north of Scotland. We've moved up to near Lag, overlooking the beautiful Kyle of Sutherland River out there on the floodplains. And we've been building a couple of lodges to have holiday guests. And what we're gonna use the pallets for is some planters to, to go around and pretty up the area. So the design we're gonna work for on our planters, it's a fairly basic design. We're gonna have uh, about four slats of pallets, something like that. And then obviously down the back there, and inside we are going to run um, a slightly thicker bit of wood that will go down to the base, down each corner. So there'll be a nice uh, structural element there, keep them nice and strong. And then the blocks that come um, in between the pallets to, to separate the two layers, we're gonna use them just as, as, as feet on the bottom. And we're going to use um, like polythene um, and put holes in it. The, the overall dimensions are going to be about 50 centimetres, about 50 centimetres square. Started cutting the wood, see, in 50 centimetre lengths. Got some battens ready for the interior. Not many tools, hammer, spirit level pencil, tape measure, and some nails are pre-straightened out of pallets, ready to go. So what I'm doing now is just preparing some pre-cut lengths of the side panels so like I said, 50 centimetres and cut them up. So then assembly will be nice and straightforward. So now I've got enough wood to do the side panels. I'm not gonna cut the wood for the base yet because the wood of, a pa of pallets vary in thickness. So I wanna make sure we've got the sides right um, and then I will do the base because then it will fit snugly. Otherwise I'll be mucking about with the wood or I may have cut it too short or too long and it'll just take um, time we don't need to take. So, so we've got the back panel, the um, battens on. What I'm gonna do now is just check here, cause some of the nails, so you're not choosing nails, we're using what we've got out in previous pallets. We just need to make sure they're nice and smoothed off. So just knock them over. And that means that we won't be hurting ourselves when it comes to moving out around the, the planter afterwards. And there we go, nice and smooth edges, and ready for another one. And we'll fit them together, like so. Okay, so now we've got the square. It's time to put the bottom on. When putting the square together, it's just worth mentioning. Keep it all nice and flush. So even though pallet wood is varies by thickness, and even through some planks they vary by thickness, if you make sure the bottoms are nice and flush, it'll be really easy to put the bottom panels on. So, now we've got the bottom on, time to put the feet on. Hey, voila. One wooden planter, ready to go. Just needs lining now with plastic. Cool, and now we have, with the lining, used polythene, put holes in, and I've used battens just to tidy it around the edges a little bit. So when it's got earth in and, and either shrubs or plants growing out of it, um, it'll look lovely. Hope you've enjoyed. Keep watching, because um, never know, I might do some more. <laughs>